early childhood caries is tooth decay that happens in the primary or baby teeth of young children. It can occur when a child's teeth are frequently exposed to sugary liquids for long periods of time. These liquids can include milk, including breast milk, formula, fruit juices, soda, and other sweetened liquids. When bacteria in the mouth come into contact with sugars found in foods and drinks, acids are produced that attack the teeth. The acids attack the teeth for longer than 20 minutes. Over time, tooth decay can develop. Tooth decay can happen as early as six months old or as soon as teeth are visible in a baby's mouth. Unfortunately, decay in baby teeth can progress rapidly and cause pain. If left untreated, it can even harm the permanent teeth that are still growing underneath the gums. Also, severe tooth decay can have a harmful effect on a child's general health. Baby teeth play an important role in your child's oral health. They hold space in the jaw for the permanent teeth. If a baby tooth is lost too soon, the surrounding teeth may tip or shift into the empty space. Then, when the permanent teeth erupt, there may not be enough space for them. The new tooth may be unable to emerge or may emerge in an abnormal position. Crooked or crowded teeth are difficult to keep clean, which makes tooth decay more likely. Additionally, crooked or crowded teeth can have a negative effect on children's self-esteem. Children might grow up embarrassed about their smiles. They might frown more often, clench their lips, or cover their mouths with their hands when laughing. You can prevent decay by taking a few important steps. Don't allow a child to fall asleep with a bottle that contains milk, formula, fruit juices, or sweetened liquids. If your child falls asleep with a sugary liquid on his or her teeth, the acids can attack the teeth all night. And make sure your baby doesn't fall asleep while breastfeeding or with a pacifier dipped in sugar or honey. Frequent sipping of sugary liquids while children are awake encourages tooth decay too. Do not let your child carry a bottle or a training cup around or get into the habit of keeping it within reach while riding in the car or stroller. It's never too early to begin practicing a good oral health care routine. You can begin cleaning your child's mouth just a few days after birth. After a feeding, wipe your baby's gums with a clean, wet gauze pad or washcloth. This helps to remove plaque and any leftover food, and your child becomes used to having his or her mouth checked. As soon as a baby gets the first tooth, begin brushing using water. Use a soft, bristled, child-sized toothbrush. Once the bristles become worn or frayed, it loses its effectiveness, so be sure to replace it. Continue cleaning and massaging the gums in all other areas that remain toothless. If you're thinking about using fluoride toothpaste prior to a child's second birthday, be sure to speak with your dentist or pediatrician first. If toothpaste for your child is recommended, use only a pea-sized amount on the child's toothbrush. Make sure the child does not swallow any toothpaste. Keeping your child's teeth healthy is important. By practicing the right oral care habits, you are helping your child have a beautiful and healthy smile for years to come.